So we still expect Australian mortgage rates will be on the rise over the course of this year and next uh, for a couple of reasons. Firstly, and we've written a lot about this, the Federal Reserve are going to be raising interest rates in the United States. That lifts the global cost of capital and Australian banks are not immune from that. They still fund part of their loan books from those markets and as that money becomes more expensive for them to borrow, they're not in the business of absorbing those costs, so they're passing them through. And we've seen out of cycle mortgage rate hikes at pretty much every Federal Reserve rate hike in the United States. Clearly, I think now, after the Royal Commission, we can expect that credit uh, lending standards will be tightened again materially. And um, we're already seeing that have some impact in property markets in Melbourne and Sydney, not so much elsewhere, but I guess they're the leading markets. So we fully expect that mortgage rates will continue to rise despite the fact that we absolutely expect the RBA to remain on hold. You know, we still have a very weak inflationary impulse. We still have a large employment gap. It's great that we're generating jobs in Australia, but we have a lot of new players. We have a lot of people coming to the country and, and they all need to find employment. And it's good that we're generating employment for those people, but we're not closing that gap, that employment gap of around about 0.6% that the RBA have spoken about uh, at length. So we don't see any movement from the RBA in the near term, but we do expect mortgage rates to creep higher over the course of time.